The Legend of Zelda is no stranger to Koei Tecmo's Warriors franchise, as the two first collided in 2014 in Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. While that spin-off celebrated the entirety of the Zelda series, this latest pairing is a much more focused affair. Working closely alongside the Zelda team, Omega Force dresses up their signature Musou formula with stunning Breath of the Wild flair in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. The effort pulls things off to such an amazing degree that it almost comes across as a genuine Zelda title. At its heart, this is still a warrior's game. You fight countless hordes of enemies across battlefields while rushing to each new objective. You still level up plenty of characters, fuse different weapons into new, more powerful tools, and obtain resources to craft items to boost your stats in combat. When it comes to the basics, it's mostly the same, but several of the core systems are streamlined to smooth things out in the name of being less daunting for newcomers. <laughs> What Age of Calamity pulls off in spades is the illusion of being an actual Zelda game, more specifically, a proper prequel to Breath of the Wild. It passes the eye test with flying colors by wrapping nearly every facet of its design in Breath of the Wild's distinct visual style. Whether it's the levels with their familiar locations, reusing the same overworld map to select your next destination, the menus you interface with, or even the sounds and small visual quirks, the developers did their homework, and it shows. This believability goes a long way towards selling the union of these two different styles of games, and while the core gameplay is still action-heavy, Age of Calamity does its best to sprinkle in classic Zelda tropes for good measure. Hidden chests and Koroks are tucked into the corners of these sometimes massive battlefields, bombs can blow up walls leading to hidden rooms, and there are even optional enemy encampments with treasure awaiting those who take the time to pursue them. The Zelda feeling extends into the enemy designs, too. Their attack patterns and movements bear a striking resemblance to their original counterparts, right down to the smallest details. The first time we realized you can parry a Guardian's laser left us in awe of just how far the team went to recapture the feeling of Breath of the Wild. This is also reflected in the characters you play as, with their trademark moves faithfully preserved. Each of the 18 different characters comes with a distinct style that avoids repetition or a sense that one simply clones another's moveset. Some come with a bit of a learning curve like Zelda and Rivali, but each is more than capable of handling any situation once you've grasped their basics. <laughs> The developers have done a fantastic job of capturing as much of the essence of Breath of the Wild as they could, but it doesn't completely make up for some of the game's shortcomings. The most apparent issue is the absolutely terrible performance. It's true that the more you play, the less noticeable it becomes, but it doesn't excuse the fact that it frequently dips below 30 frames per second, with the action getting extremely choppy in some cases. That's not to mention that everything takes far too long to load, including awkward wait times just to rewatch some cutscenes. Additionally, the environments don't quite match the fidelity of the original world. Yes, it's a nice touch to see Hyrule prior to the Calamity with civilization still intact, and the degree to which they've replicated the iconic locations deserves praise. Yet each area shows the limitations of this magic trick, with objects and characters displaying very little detail, even at short distances. Some environments, like Zora's Domain and the Divine Beast levels, simply look ugly. The cutscenes fare much better, though, with a bit more polish, and from a narrative standpoint, they mark a high point not only for Age of Calamity, but the Zelda series in general. Historically, Zelda's gameplay and design tend to overshadow the story for good reason, but Age of Calamity shows a different side. Charming character personalities with fully developed arcs do wonders and prove that narrative richness can enhance the overall experience. <laughs> If there's one glaring omission, it's surprisingly Link. The iconic hero is relegated to a side character for most of the story, as others, like Zelda, have their moments to shine. Part of this is by design, but a major reason for Link falling behind is his lack of voice. 
Having a silent protagonist works well enough in other games where Link is meant to represent the player, but when you play as so many characters with rich personalities, Link's silence becomes a particularly awkward device. It's not a deal breaker here, but if Nintendo opts to go for the same storytelling direction and Breath of the Wild sequel, Link shouldn't remain mute. As for the story itself, it's not simply an expansion of the de facto events as told in Breath of the Wild, but rather an alternate scenario that addresses some of the criticisms leveled against the original. Another tale of time travel might be hard to stomach for some, but temporal machinations serve as merely the setup for a much more light-hearted series of events. It lets you spend a lot more time with characters you hardly got to know in Breath of the Wild, as well as some unique newcomers. Another area where Age of Calamity stands out is with its music. To be fair, Breath of the Wild features an incredible soundtrack, but in practice, you might not catch most of it due to the minimalist approach. Age of Calamity allows the full breadth of its score to work in its favor, with sweeping tracks that get you pumped for the battle at hand, somber melodies for the emotional moments, and a few brilliant reworkings of Breath of the Wild's iconic tracks. <laughs> Koei Tecmo and Nintendo have laid the groundwork for something really special in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Whether intentional or not, their ambition crafts a new subgenre of Musou that's mostly held back by the limitations of the Switch hardware. The post-game and extra modes fall short of what the original Hyrule Warriors offers, yet its solid storytelling and diverse set of characters are captivating until the journey's end. With a bit more refinement and polish, Hyrule Warriors could become something truly legendary. Next Gen has arrived, but we're also taking time to remember the gen that was. Tune in every other week as we take a year-by-year -year look back at the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. All of our videos are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com slash easyallies to help us make more.